हेलो एवरीवन सो नाउ वी विल बी सॉल्विंग अ प्रॉब्लम ऑन सिंपल सैचुरेटेड वेपर कंप्रेशन साइकिल सो न्यूमेरिकल इज गिवन एज सिंपल सैचुरेटेड वेपर कंप्रेशन साइकिल यूजिंग अमोनिया हैज कैपेसिटी ऑफ 25 फाइव टी आर इवेपोरेटर एंड कंडेंसर टेम्परेचर आर माइनस फाइव एंड फोर्टी डिग्री सेल्सियस रिस्पेक्टिवली कैलक्युलेट फर्स्ट मास फ्लो रेट ऑफ रेफ्रिजरेंट सेकेंड सीओपी so for this we need to take cpv that is cp of vapor equal to 2.1897 kilojoule per kg kelvin the following table is giving the properties of ammonia at temperatures of minus 5 and 40 degree celsius so values of hf hg sf and sg are given in the table so according to the given conditions we will note down see as in question it is given as simple saturated vapor compression cycle that means we need to represent now four processes of evaporation compression condensation and expansion on the ph and ts diagram and we need to represent the following conditions as uh, ammonia has capacity of 25 tr so for this q is equals to 25 tr so capacity is to be represented by q so q is equals to Q is equals to twenty five TR. So one TR is equals to two hundred and ten kilojoule per minute. So that's why on place of TR I have written as two hundred and ten kilojoule per minute. So twenty five into two hundred and ten kilojoule per kilojoule uh, per minute gives us five two five zero kilojoule per minute. So now the total capacity is five two five zero kilojoule per minute. TE that is evaporator temperature here evaporator and condenser temperature are minus 5 and 40 degree celsius respectively so we have taken as t equals to minus 5 degree celsius when it is converted into kelvin it becomes as 268 kelvin tc is condenser temperature is 40 degree celsius when converted into kelvin is 313 kelvin cpv is given as 2.1897 kilojoule per kg kelvin so uh, now Uh, we need to represent the given cycle on the ph and ts diagram so uh, i have represented here both the ph and ts diagrams so uh, 4 to 1 process is evaporation 1 to 2 is the isentropic compression 2 to 2 dash is desuperheating 2 dash to 3 is condensation 3 to 4 is the expansion so t1 Equal to T4 here T1 and T4 will be at this point T1 and T4 are represented as minus five degree Celsius. Uh, T2 dash and T3 are forty degree Celsius. So T2 is not known to us. In question, it is given only about the temperature of the condenser and temperature of evaporator. So we know only T1 and T4 and T2 dash and T3. So T2 is not known to us. See for here, uh, no condition is given as that superheated condition of refrigerant after the compression. But generally, if no any condition is given, we consider that the refrigerant is superheated after the compression. So that's why we have drawn T S and P H diagram for superheated vapor after the compression. So now these are the values. H one can be calculated uh, from this point as H G one. Hg one at minus fifty degrees, minus five degrees Celsius. So we are already having a table. So if we consider Hg value at minus five degrees Celsius, so we will get the value of H one. If we consider Hg two, that is Hg two for H two dash, Hg two at forty degrees Celsius. So Hg at forty degrees Celsius, that is one four nine zero point four, will become the H two dash. similar in similar fashion hf3 will be the value of h3 h3 will be hf3 at 40 degree celsius h4 will be equal to hf3 as this is isenthalpic process as i have explained in my previous video so t2 is super t2 that is superheated temperature here from here we can see that t2 is the superheated temperature it needs to be calculated for calculation of h2 For calculation of H two, we are having formula H G two plus C P V into T two minus T two dash. So T two dash is known to us. C P V is known. C H T H G two is known, but but H but T two is not known. So that's why T two needs to be calculated. Now uh, for calculation of 
T2, what needs to be done? I have represented the same diagram on TS, uh, TS chart as well. As compression is isentropic process, S1 equals to S2. So, S1 is equals to SG1 at minus 5 degree Celsius. S2 dash is nothing but SG2 at 40 degree Celsius. And S2 needs to be calculated through this formula as 2 is the point in superheated region. So, S2 needs to be calculated through this formula. SG2 plus CPV. So, S2 is equal to SG2 plus CPV into ln of T2 by T2 dash. So, T2 can be taken out from this formula. Following are the values of H1, H4, S1, SG2 and SG2 at 40 degree Celsius which I have taken from table. So, we will solve the question. Now, uh, first of all, we need to calculate mass of refrigerant. Mass of refrigerant is nothing but MR. So, mass of refrigerant needs to be calculated. Formula for which is mass of refrigerant equals to capacity upon refrigerating effect. So, capacity was given in the question as 25 TR which we converted into kilojoule per minute by multiplying it with the uh, 210. So, 25 into 210 kilojoule per minute gives us 5250 kilojoule per minute. Now, refrigerating effect is to be calculated through the formula H1 minus H4. See, this is the refrigerating effect. And H2 minus H1 is nothing but the work input given to the compressor in order to work. So, H1 minus H4 is refrigerating effect and H2 minus H1 is the work input which is uh, used in calculation of COP. So, calculating the mass of refrigerant, we get that. MR is equals to Q that is capacity upon refrigerating effect. Refrigerating effect equals to H1 minus H4. So by putting the values we will get uh, as 1456.1 minus 390.6 and in numerator we will get direct value of Q that is capacity is 5250 kilojoule per minute. So MR is equals to 4.927 kilojoule per minute divided by kilojoule per kg will give us kg per minute. So, mass of refrigerant is equal to 4.927 kg per minute. Now, next thing which we need to calculate is COP. So, COP is equal to H1 minus H4 upon H2 minus H1 that is refrigerating effect divided by work input or work done in the system. So, H2 is unknown here. So, in order to calculate H2, I have given the explanation previously that we, cal we need to calculate the value of T2 through this formula. As isentropic compression is there, S1 and S2 are equal. We know the value of S1 and T2 is unknown. So, S2 is in superheated region. That's why we have applied this formula. T2 needs to be calculated through uh, this formula and the formulation. And T2 will come out to be 398.63 Kelvin. So, it is important to note here that T2 and T2 dash should be in Kelvin only because putting the values in degree Celsius will uh, give us a different answer. So, T2 comes out to be 398.63 Kelvin. Now, again putting the value of T2 in H2 formula. So, we will get that uh, HG2 we have already taken from the table. CPV we know T2 minus T2 dash. So, putting all these value, values will give us H2 equals to 1677.90 kilojoule per kg. Putting the value of H2 along with the value of H1 and H4 will give us the value of COP in this formula. So, COP is basically refrigerating effect divided by work done. So, refri the, all the values of enthalpies we have put here and the value of COP finally we will get, get it as 4.803. Thank you.